Introduce the rider you are today to the one you'll be tomorrow with your new Edge 540 cycling computer. Let's show you how to pair it to your Apple smartphone so that you can start riding. To power on your Edge device, press the upper left red button. Next, find your language, then press the upper right button to select. A QR code will appear on your Edge device. Scan it with the camera on your smartphone. This will open the Garmin Connect app if you already have it downloaded. If not, it will take you to the App Store. Then either sign in or create an account. If you see your Edge, press Connect It. When prompted, confirm that you want to connect your device and the passkey matches on your Edge device and smartphone, and then select Pair on your phone. From your phone, choose whether you'd like to receive smartphone notifications on your Edge device. The phone and the Edge device will now complete the pairing process. If you've already set up heart rate and power zones, you won't need to do anything. But if you haven't, or if you are new to Garmin Connect, you can set those up now with the Setup Wizard. For users with an existing compatible Edge device, you can transfer your sensors and activity profiles to your new device. To do this, select Transfer Current Sensors when prompted, followed by Next on the following screen. Then select Transfer Activity Profiles to transfer over your selected activity profiles. Then click Next on the following screen. To finish the pairing process, select Sync Now. It may take a few minutes for your Edge device to sync with the Garmin Connect app for the first time. After this first sync, we recommend connecting the device to a Wi-Fi network to ensure further device syncs happen as quickly as possible. You'll have the option to set up Wi-Fi and customize activity profiles if you didn't transfer them from an old device. This can be done now or later by accessing the device menu. And that's it. You've paired your Edge 540 device to your Apple smartphone. Now it's time to ride. For more help, check out our other videos or visit support.garmin.com.